Hi, happy pride. We're gonna build the Everyone is Awesome set from Lego. Uh, and if you want the set, it's set number 40516 and it's only $35 in the United States, plus shipping. Or no shipping if you get it from the Lego store directly. Uh, here we go. Um, I got the instruction booklet here. So we're gonna go, step one is to take this and put it on this. Come on, jump together. Thank you. I haven't built Legos in long time, not since I was a kid, so this. These two. Yeah, that's one piece. Now these two little ones go on here. It's one, two. So you get this. And then tells me to put them together like this. Take this big base plate here. And then yeah. I'm gonna have little marks in my fingers from these Legos. Yeah. Okay. Just making short sure lines up correctly. This set is not huge. It's a display only, really. Um, so, like, it doesn't have really a lot of playability. But that's not the point with this set. Okay. Um, now what do I do? I need more pieces in there. Oops. Mini figures are falling on me. Oh, my God. So I need this. this piece okay so like if common sense says I have to do this and then I take this one here do this and then take this piece oh I see what I'm doing it's making a, uh, a footing for the base of this sit on. Smart. Okay. So far we've made the base to the set. It gets more colorful, I promise. And I've done that. It's missing this. Did I do something wrong? I don't think so. Let me see. Oh wait. No, that's all part of the rainbow. Oh, here it is. It's hiding. So there's that one, and then... The only problem with this set is they mix everything together. So. Oh, there it is. I found it. So this should fit in. So it's just to go across like this. Mm -hmm. Up here or here? Um, I think. And then it says to do this. Now I've finished the base plate. They threw me a curveball. Sorry to people who do Lego here normally. This is um, my first time doing Lego in here, so. 
can't expect me to get it perfect the first time. Ooh, yay! Now I'm starting to get the rainbow color. Okay, it says to do... Which bag is that in? Oh wait, I was wrong. This one's not. It's a little confusing. Okay. So now it says to go with a black one here. Then it says a brown, brown. I hope you, people can see this because it's a little far from the camera, but you see what I'm doing here. Now it says I need a red one. Uh, I need to find a red one. Found the red one. So the red one goes there. Then the orange. And then the yellow. And the green. Mm -hmm. this bag? Let's see. No. So we have to go to a different bag. Got a green. So that's that. Now I need a blue. Did they already take it out? I'm missing this one. Okay, here it is. Blue. Blue. Uh, purple. This is purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a dark purple, but I'm not, um, that's the light purple, where's the dark purple, that dark purple one, uh, yeah. probably would be easier if I would have pre-sorted this stuff, but we're just gonna do it the way they gave it to me in the back. Purple, light blue, light blue. So now we're getting into the trans flag now. Uh, white. And then pink. All right, I've got the first part of the rainbow and the rest of the flag. All right, now it says for me to do, I'm gonna do this now. So I need to go into this bag and put two of these here, but there. So that goes there. That goes there. And now I need two one stud pieces. One has to be pink and one has to be black. So here's the black one. This goes here. And I need a pink one stud. Mm, gotta find it. Oh, I found it. It's a in here. Achieved. And now it says for me to do 
basically the same build I did in the front, but along this tan part. See? So I'm doing this, but back here. Okay. So I have to start with black. Black. Then it should go brown. And then it should go red. Which I gotta find. Ah, found it. Oh, if I can get it. There you go. So red. Orange, orange, yellow, yellow, uh, green is the next one. Ah, okay. I've got a, oh. Can you get the Legos that you look for for me? Thank you. That doesn't sound like a fun job. It's it it's right there. I'm just, just kidding. Yeah. Green. So far this is not a hard build. Uh it's it's just gonna take me some time. So I will probably have to post this to my YouTube. Um I hope this is interesting to people. <laughs> I'm having fun, are you? <laughs> uh now I need a purple block. Dark purple. Dark purple. Lego. Now I need the powder blue. Powder. Oops, sorry. I'm not showing this right. Powder blue. I like that color blue. It's cute. Powder blue. And then you get your white from the trans flag. It says the powder blue is also from the trans flag. And then. Oops, I didn't see that correctly. And then here's the pink from the trans flag. So now I've done steps eight through nine. So now we're gonna go to step 10. Okay, so I need the bigger blocks for this. So now I need a black big block. So these blocks, now we go to these blocks, the bigger ones, see? They're bigger. So that goes like this. So now I need a brown one. I hope everyone's having a nice evening. And now I gotta go to the red. See, we're, we're building the flag. Um, now, orange. So now, now we're going into the original, at least not a, the uh, most up-to-date version of the pride flag. So what we're building right now. This whole thing is the pride flag. Um, so the rainbow and then the, the addition of the black, the brown, and the trans flag over here. Alright, uh, so now I need a yellow one. I will not insert a Wizard of Oz joke. Because I know some people don't like that movie. But I do. Uh, green. Blue. You see, we're coming up these one, two, three, four, five, six stud the bricks. So now we have to get the pink. When I saw this set, I first saw it on TikTok, and I saw a guy building it, and I fell in love with it, and I had to buy it. 
And that's why I bought it. And this is my first adult Lego purchase. I mean, I had Legos obviously growing up as a kid because my dad was cool like that. And he got Legos, there's Lego trains, like a lot of Lego sets, Harry Potter, all that stuff. It's before uh, J.K. Rowling got canceled, but but uh, yeah, she she's a little problematic now. She wasn't back then, though. All right, and now we have this powdered blue one from the trans flag. Uh, now I need a white. Six studded block. Building up my trans flag more. And now I need the, the pink one. So we're gonna put that there. All right, so so far I've built this. And the base. All right. Okay, now it's set. I have to start building out the colors. Like that. And so I need the plates that look like this. These little squares. Let me find that. Here's the bag of people's first. Okay, at least they put those all in one bag. Oh no, they didn't. They separated them between two bags. That's so. okay. I will conquer this set. And hopefully, it won't take me two hours to build this. <laughs> I need a bigger table, but I'll make this work. I'm working off of two um, tray tables, like for food. All right, um, so it just says, I want to turn the set towards you so I can show you what I'm doing better. See, I've, I've just put this little square down there. So I just gotta keep doing that, so I gotta find more black ones. And so this goes like this. This goes like that. You see how it's building out here? This goes like that. See what I've done so far? And then... Small, small, small. This one, it says, goes, wait, three small ones. So sometimes it's a little confusing. So I need <clears throat> this, then the studded one is where the, where the black mi minifigure is going to be. And then I, it says I need one more flat black. There it is. I found it. So now I've done the black straight. Almost. There it goes. Hmm. All right. Now I have to move on to the brown. And this builds a little different. So here, we're gonna put brown starts here. So that's one, two, three, four of these. I need four to put the part where the mini finger stands. So one, two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four. And then it says to put a fifth one. So this one. 
I told you wrong. Look, I got it. And then... I need the spot for the mini shaker. I take it out of the bag yet, yeah, that's the question. Yes, I did. Here it is. So, the mini figures will stand on this. So this goes right there. And then this goes right here. So, so far, this is what I've built. And then the bottom. I turn this towards me for a second. Okay. So now I have to do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. This is where I'm at. It's the same process, so I'm just going to show you when I'm done uh, with the next color. Sorry I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I've been living on TikTok recently. If you look me up on TikTok, I am uh, Daniel M. Kabaki on TikTok. So uh, you can find me easily, if you wish to. I have some really funny stuff on TikTok, so. One, two, four, and a small one. So one, two, three, Four. And I need a small one. So I need this. So, so far I've made this. And now I need the studded one, which I just saw. I'll find it again. Need that, so I'll put that there. And here it is. So this is what this is what the minifigure is gonna stand on. I haven't built my minifigures yet, but I'm just doing it as the instructions tell me to. So I will do the minifigures last. And it says I need to put this one down, and then I need this piece here. Whoever is watching this right now, thank you. <laughs> Um, now I have to go to orange. I'll say it. Aren't you glad I didn't save banana? Also, if you want to really rack your brain, tell me something in the comments that rhymes with orange. It has to be an English word. I bet you can't do it. So I've started working on the orange. All right, one, two, three, four, orange. Okay. I find this fun so far. It's a little, I mean, it's not difficult, but Making sure I have all the pieces I need in one place is. I think this would have been better if I would have um, set this up differently, like separated all my pieces into colors and shapes and all that stuff, and probably would have made the build easier, but I'm just winging it here. That's the way I do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we have the stud for the standee. The, you know, the uh, mini fig. Sorry for the Lego people. I'm using wrong terms here. As, as I said, I was into Lego when I was little. But now um, I'm just getting back into Lego. All right. And it says I need one more of those orange. This is that it's full-sized. 
I gotta dig through here and find it. Here it is. Right out of frame. Hmm. Okay. So this is what I've gotten done so far. Make sure I'm tamping all this stuff down so it it's flat and I don't have to play with letter. So now I'm going to do this yellow stripe. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. I need the yellow. Almost made a Wizard of Oz reference. I can't do that because one of my friends hates that. And if he's watching this, he will turn it off. Because that's how much he doesn't like those Wizard of Oz. So one, so I need three of those. Okay, so I found one so far, so let's find the other ones. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. That worked out. They're right next to each other. Can't believe I didn't see that. Wait. One, two, three, All right. And then it says two smalls. So it's a two, one. Two of these one brick. So there, and now we're gonna put in the thing for the minifigure. See? I'm probably just making this build longer than it is by, by like explaining stuff. It's like, I mean, you're here, I'm here. Let's just have fun, you know? All right, um, it says to do this, this one brick, single layer brick. Then it says to go back to the two big bricks. So this brick, and then I'm missing one. I know I'm not missing it. Lego wouldn't dare shorten me a piece, obviously. It's probably I haven't taken that out of the bag yet. So let's look. Well, this is the first time I've had to search for something, really. Sorry for the delay, folks. Um, it's my fault for not dumping all the bags first. Oh, here it is. It was underneath of a piece. Found it. Now I finished the yellow stripe. Tamp that down. So here's where we are so far. I finished black brown, red, and yellow. So now, we move on to the blue, which they have the picture for over in 13, so. So I've now gone from step 12, and I'm starting 13. So, one, Two, and then it says to do, <coughs> I would check that. That's right. And now it says to do, <coughs> that's not right. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. One, two, and then a small one, and then the step. Okay. So one, two. But you're missing something very obvious. Oh no. Thank you. I, sorry, I have a bit of a migraine today and I, I, and I started blue on green. So we're doing green, not blue. That's no biggie. I'll just pull the pieces off. Part two of the Everyone is Awesome build. I'm trying to keep these in 30 minute intervals so it's easier to upload. Um, as you saw in the last part, I made a mistake, but I have taken away said mistake. And now we're actually going to be working on the, the green stripe. 
not the blue stripe. So here's the first green piece going in. All right, so it says one, two, three of these. So one, two, three. And then I need the, gotta find it. There it is. And then I need this for the minifigure. How's everyone's pride going? I hope you were enjoying your pride. I'm having a pretty good pride, I think. I've yet to go to a pride parade, but maybe one day I'll go to a pride parade. All right, um, and then it says to go, okay. And then we're gonna go to these tiles. So, so. And we finished the green stripe. Now we can go to the blue strip. So it is And then I need a one of these. And then I need the one for the mini figure, which is here. Because you see what they're doing here? They're staggering these so that the minifigures can stand together and be awesome. Because everyone is awesome. Uh, I am resisting very hard right now to not, well, resisting very hard right now so I do not sing the Lego movie theme song. I'm trying to save that for a TikTok. All right, um, then I need one of these small bricks here. It goes there. And then, and I'm back to the big brick. These big uh, bricks that go over four studs. So that. But that. And Lego people, are these called bricks? Or what, what? what is the term for these? These pieces here, these flat pieces. Let me know in the comments. And then it says I need one more of those. So let's go find it. Did, 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 did. Found one. Okay, now, so far, this is what I've created. I've done this part of the, the rainbow that's the flag, and these, let me see that better now. You see where the minifigures stand? You see those raised things? That's where they'll stand. I haven't built them yet. They're, they're gonna be built later. I've noticed that I need to tamp these down. Last part, putting the figures on the model. So black goes first then brown. Let's make sure the legs are straight. Oh, that's not straight. I think they're supposed to go like this. I'm not saying. Okay. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna turn it and show you. Got it. Then red. Put this one down like this. Or does it have to go down? Yeah, it has to go down. Okay. Now orange. And red on yellow is next bowl cut person.
then green, then blue. I've noticed with this you have to kind of raise the arms in order to get them to fit properly. There we go. Then purple. I also have to keep the legs straight. So what I'll say about this set is the figures are not very poseable. You only have like one pose so that you can put them in with a fit, but that's okay. I mean, this is meant for display. It's not a, a, a set where you would really like play on it with the figures. So as a display, it works fine. I'm still happy with what I got. Now the last two figures, and when I'm done, I will show you what I've done. As I said, I hope you've enjoyed my build of the Everyone is Awesome Lego set. And if you made it to this point, congratulations. <laughs> I'm a little tired after doing this set. Sorry, a little schmutz on there. Let me get that schmutz off. And then the last figure. Ah! Was the last figure that I knocked over two of them. That's okay. The position of the figures didn't change, so it's fine. I just gotta put them back on the studs. And now, the pink one. The last figure is just hard to seat on the studs properly. And, writing I didn't make any mistakes. Now I present to you, everyone, it's awesome! Um, it was a fun build. Am I ever going to take this apart? No. Why? Because I don't want to put it back together again. <laughs> Although, I think I could. So, I hope you enjoyed my building of the Everyone is Awesome set. Happy Pride. Uh, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Okay, I think this is all snug right now. It was a little raised. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the purple stripe. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Although, if you ask me what my favorite color was, I would say blue, and sometimes I say green. It depends on the day, I think, with me, with colors, what I like. And I think that's normal. So I, I kind of go between uh, certain shades of blue and green. So I've now started the purple stripe. So I hope you're enjoying this video. I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. And if I sound a little off today, it's because I am suffering from really bad allergies from the day before. And I also have been suffering migraine headaches since 2020. They've just been getting worse, and I get them every week, sometimes multiple times a week. So 
I'm like coming off of migraine right now, so just uh, as the Brits would say, bear with. All right, now we've gotten to the part where we put the pegs down for the minifigure to stand on. See them? I'll hold it up real close so you can see it. Okay. See the purple growing now? All right. I'm just gonna complete this next section real quick because I happen to see the pieces in front of me and then I'll show you later. Oh, if you hear the tweeting in the background, I zebra finches, there's six of them in the, there. They're off camera, actually. You can't see them, but I know you can hear them. Um, they are loved pets and uh, they're cool. And that's what you need to know. Um, so now I'm gonna go back to completing my purple spray. And then one more, just gotta find it. Sorry folks, just give me a second to find it. It may still be in a bag. No, it's, oh, it's on the table, I found it. It was just underneath of the bag. It wasn't actually in the bag. Hmm. That's the fun thing about Lego, it's an adventure. And if you're like kind of interested in getting into Lego and you're like, oh, but it's so expensive. Um, yeah, it is. But like, as I said, this set I think is $35. Um, I'll look that up and I'll put it in the description below the video, what the pricing is. Um, and as, this is a display set, so it's not like the fancy kind of sets that move and do things like that. But um, they have everything Lego. They have Star Wars, you know, Harry Potter, a lot of cool stuff. So let's get back to the set. Now we're gonna go to the powder blue. So we've gone into the trans flag now. So see the trans part. So now we're gonna do the powder blue and I have to turn the page. I feel like I need a sound. Turn the page, beep. If you're old enough to know that reference, hi. If not, okay. So now I need a powdered blue square. And that's gonna go right here. And then I need a, one of these. That's gonna go right there. And then I need the stud for the minifigure, which I just found. Ooh, this is going quicker now. Probably because there's less pieces on the table. Oops, fail. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, now I need another one of those small ones. And now let's go to, it says to go to the, the one that goes over four pegs. And I think it's the same all the way out. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'll just complete this step. See, this is how much I've got so far. Um, last piece on the powder blue, at least on the stripe. I still have to build up the big wall, the rainbow flag, you know, the wall. I haven't gotten to that step yet. So now we're gonna go to the white part of the trans flag. I'm gonna build that out real quick. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker because I don't want this video to be like two hours long. <laughs> uh, oh, I have to go right to the, to the stud for the figure. Oh, that's right, because I'm getting towards the end of the model. Me tamping down. Um, ooh, I don't have to use the little ones. I just have to use these all the way down. That's cool. So we're gonna, you're not really gonna see this well on camera because it's white. 
see, I can hold it up. See, I'm marking right here. See? Um, and last piece on the white stripe. And now we get to go to the pink. It's a pink. Um, okay, it says to do one of these tiny, tiny ones, and then the stud for the minifigure. So, the stud is the minifigure. Well, be where? This table. Where will they be? Where are they? Found it. And dropped it. There we go. Sorry if I mess up a little bit in this video. I have diagnosed dyslexia and also ADD. So um, it's a little hard for me sometimes to get thoughts out. And the only reason why I'm able to do this is because it has detailed directions. So it makes it easier for me. If, if I was trying to build this with just like looking at a picture, that would be a little bit difficult for me. But uh, these directions, I would give it to the set. These directions are pretty easy to follow. I mean, I had like one issue with it, but um, the person helping me off camera uh, helped me figure it out. Did I make a mistake? Yes, I did. Hold on a second. That's what happens when you talk and you try and build Legos and you make mistakes. <laughs> That was easily fixed, though. I, I uh, put a little piece where, where this piece is supposed to go. Okay. So we're building up the pink. That's good. Enough. And then this. And this. Hooray! We've got the full base done. Okay, this is the whole base. So now all I have to do is build up the wall and put together the minifigures. So, so far, this is what I got done. How cute is this? Honestly. So, I've done that. Okay, so now it says I have to do this. So I've got that. Let me make sure I'm looking at this correctly. Okay. We're gonna build it like this. Oops. Wait. Got ahead of myself. Um, so this goes like this. Now I gotta go to the red one. Oh, no, oh, no. Legos went everywhere. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. You know the famous song, Everyone Makes Mistakes. So why can't you? That's Sesame Street, that's old Sesame Street, so. I, I think that song is older than me, but I know it. So, so far I've gotten this much done. So now I need to find the an orange one of those. Two studded bricks. There we go. Now I need yellow, yellow. Okay, now I need green, green, now I need blue, oh. I found it, blue, now I need the purple, here comes the purple. Good 
feel like I should be singing Rainbow Connection. It's a good song too. All right, now I need the powder blue. So we're now we're going into the trans flag again. And now I need the white one. And then I've been calling this pink. I'm hoping it is pink, and if it's not pink, I'm sorry. Okay, it's a shade of pink, so we'll just say pink. And pink. All right, so that's step 14 and 15 completed. It's Pepto Bismol pink. You know, it does look like Pepto Bismol pink. That's funny. Um, now I have to do this weird part of the build where, see, like, they have these tan pieces inside of the flag, but they go down the center so you don't see them. It's just to put the structure in the middle. But I don't understand why they couldn't do, um, I guess because it's interior, you really don't need these to be the same color, but, and it would be hard for them because they'd have to, like, do, like, the two studded pieces all the way across. So it's just easier to do it this way. And I believe I've done it wrong. Yes. That's why they give you this thing. So let's use this thing to get the piece off. Uh, what do you know? That works. I like it. I like this color. It's a green. It's an aquamarine. It's cool. It's got to go... How many studs do I need there? Says, so I got a one stud over. Like that. And then connect it like this. Okay, so it should look like that. Sorry. Like that. And so my next step should be what? Thank you, Mr. Son, for coming out to say hello. I need one studded bricks, and then I need to repeat this pattern again. So I will say something about the set. It's very repetitive. And if you don't like a repetitive build, you might not like this. But I think the theme here is so strong that um, it's worth getting, even if you don't like a repetitive build. Ignore my air conditioning turning on. <clears throat> it's hot. It's 85 degrees currently where I am, so. Okay, I've, I've now finished this, and now I'm gonna go for the stripe, so I'm gonna build it like this, which is actually away from me, but it's better for you, the audience, to see. So we start with black. Oops, one. Black. Then we go to the brown. And then we go to a red one. It's probably still in a bag. No, oh, here it is. Red. And orange. Yellow. Green. See, I'm building it out. And I need a blue. Powder blue, but I need the. Oh, okay. Found it. Blue. Sorry, I'm right handed if you can't really see what I'm doing. But you see what I'm doing after I do it, right? There we go. See? So it works. Now I can put in the powdered blue. And we have white of the trans flag and now that Tecto Bismol pink. Sorry if I'm offending the trans community by saying that. I don't mean to be offensive. Um, so here's what we completed. So now we're gonna build up further and by the end of this it kind of has this curved look to it. It's, it's really cool. Look at the model. Every one is awesome. And there's videos about it on YouTube. Trying not to skip a page here. Okay, so now I'm going to the six studded bricks again. So starting with black, which is here, black. And then I need a brown one. 
bag. It's brown. Um, red. Red. It's very important that you make sure they connect fully, these bricks, or else you get gaps and it doesn't look good with gaps. Especially something like this, it's supposed to be sleek. Um, now I need an orange one, which is right here. Orange. And then I'm putting in yellow. Green. I got mine off lego.com, that's where I got this set, um, but I believe they still sell them at the Lego store. So if you have a Lego store near you, you should be able to get this set. If not, it's on lego.com. I have to do purple. And now I got to go to the powder blue, so back into the trans flag we go. go. I need a white brick, which is right here. And now I need a double small pink. There we go. So, so far, we've got this much of the wall or waterfall of color. I don't know exactly what Lego's calling it, but we've got this much done, and we have this and the plate. So let's continue on. Now we go back to these two studded bricks. So focusing. Yeah. It's very repetitive. I said. So once you basically get the gist of one of the layers, you know the whole thing for the back. Um, I need a brown one. Ah. Seek and ye shall find. Brown. Red. Which I'm not seeing on the table at the moment, but it's probably sitting in a bag. Yep, there it is. Red. And now I need orange. Orange. Yellow. Green. Um, the dark blue. I'm just gonna call it dark blue because there's a powder blue in the trans flag. So they're taking the dark two blues in this set. So I can't just say blue. Found a dark blue. And now we're going to go to the purple. And then we go to the powder blue, white. And the hank. And so now I've done steps 18 through 19, and we're gonna go to step 20, which is to put in another one of these tan stripey thingies. And now I know how to do it. To skip one peg or stud, I think is what they call it in, in, in Lego. And then you do the same here. See what I mean? It's repetitive. See, we're back to this. We're back to this step again. Okay. Um. So now I need one of these single peg black pieces. So I go here. Birdies, birdies, birdies. Tweet, 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 tweet. 
Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> it's distracting, but it's not like a horrible distraction. It's just kind of like a cute distraction, if you know what I mean? Um, but I can't do anything about it. They're birds and they're gonna do what they're gonna do. So I've just put in the pink one of those while I was talking to you. So I got this and we're gonna continue. And so now we have to make this again. Uh, so we start with the black. Then we go to the brown. And then we go to red. Where did I put my red ball? Oh, here it is. Red. And we're gonna go to the orange. Ah, here we go. Orange. <coughs> that wasn't me. Obviously. And now we have to go to the yellow. I tried ventriloquism for a while, but I wasn't good at it, so. I can promise you it wasn't me, it was the person helping me out off camera. Um, now we have to go to a green one. And then the, what I'm calling a dark blue for the purpose of clarity. Um, then I have this beautiful purple color. Um, and now into the trans flag, again we go with the powder blue, the white, and a pink. So that's, that's where I am. So that is figure 20 and 21 on to t step 22, which you're back to the six studded bricks to go on top of this. So we need to start with black. Okay. Sorry, I needed to do that. But I have more room now, I can put more Legos. So I got the black one and now we need the brown one just here brown red orange yellow um i need a green one. I need I a green one. Eh, English. It's a thing. Sometimes I get it wrong. So now we've gotten to the green, so now it's the dark blue. Purple. Now it's the powder blue. Which is still in the bag. I found it. Powder blue. And the white. And here's that purple. And now, what, what time am I at? I'm trying to keep these videos to 30 minutes a piece. I know 25 minutes now, so I should be able to do this next part in five minutes, I hope. Or I may cut it early. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's dump out the rest of the parts. Discard the bag for a little bit. So we have to go black. Brown. Red, red, orange, oops, there we go, orange. 
first. Yellow. Green? It's green. Blue. The dark blue. It'd be cool if I could do this in time lapse, but I don't have to do that, so you're just gonna hear me. So we're gonna go to purple. And then I need a powdered blue. A white. And then the pink. So that is the end of 23. Seven minutes. I can do this part. Taking our tan block, going, skipping a peg, putting it down, and then another tan, one, two, three, four, six, ten stud, I guess is what they call this. Tamping that down, and then I need one black single stud, looks like and one pink steeple stuff. Um, I'm gonna cut the video now and start another part. I don't know what part this is, but though I'm back and we're gonna go with these one it's hard to show these, if these pieces are small. See it, it's one stud. Black. And then it goes to the pink. And then we have the repetitive again, see? We've been at this step before. So we're just gonna do it again. So we're gonna go to black. I find with Lego, when you get down to like a few pieces, it's much easier to put stuff together than when you have a ton of pieces. Red, uh, wait, I almost picked up red. I need brown. <coughs> brown. Oops, there we go. Brown. Red. Orange. I can do it like this. I can show you like this because um, I can see the colors down here. Yellow. Green. Then I gotta find the dark blue, which is here. Dark blue. Purple. Um, powdered blue. I, I like powdered blue. It's a cute color. Um, white. Well, do you know anybody whose favorite color is white? Or black? I don't. But if you do, it's cool. If that's your favorite color, that's fine. Personally, I need something with actual color in it. Well, black is all colors together, and white is the absence of all colors. At least when it comes to this kind of color. Light's a different story. Use a prism and you'll find out how much color is in light in white light. Um, back to the build. Sorry, that was a tangent. And now we're putting in our pink piece. So this is what I've completed. So, so far it's this high. Now we have to go on to the next part in the instructions. Okay, we're back to the stick, the six studded brick. Okay. And the black one. 
brown, red. Then I need the orange, which is right here. The yellow. The green. The blue, which is the dark blue. Oh, the birds you hear that make loud noises, that is the male birds. Um, they're the most vocal of the zebra finches. The females make little boop, boop, boop noises. So if you're hearing that loud tweeting, we have uh, three male birds in there and they all like to sing. And we have three females, so it's six birds all together. All right, back to the build. Uh, we're getting in the home stretch here, I think. Purple. Powder blue. White. And... Pink. And now I'm in familiar territory again, but I don't think for long on this set. I got to get to the two studded bricks, which are where black, brown, red, there it is. For a second I thought I was missing a piece. Orange. Yellow. I need green. I need dark blue, which is where? Dark blue. Purple. And then we need powder blue, which is here. And then I need white. Right in front of me. And the pink one, which is right here. <clears throat> and, okay. Now this is where it's going to get different. If I remember, I've watched people build this like in time lapse. Okay, so now I have to put um, the same blocks that are used for the minifigures to stand on on top of this, it looks like. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Okay. You know the pattern, so I'm not going to repeat it. I'm just going to do it in front of your eyes, okay? That. 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 Where's my orange piece? Orange. yellow, and then I need the green one, which is right here, dark blue is here, um, purple, like the white, Light blue. White. Oops, come on, white. And pink. Um, where did I put the pink one? 
Where did it go to? Let's see. Sorry, I've misplaced a piece. I know it's here, it's fun. There it is. Pink. All right, that's figure 28. And now we're on 20, page 29. So now we do the, we start doing the rounded pieces. So according to this, I need to put This goes like this. No. <coughs> Wait a minute. There, I found it. This goes like this. So I put this piece in here. See? It's a rounded piece. And now I have to find the pink one that looks like that and put it on the other side. So I'll show you me doing that. So see how it's starting to curve? Cool, huh? These are cool pieces. Legos come up with so many cool pieces since I used to build Lego back in the day. And now it says to put. We're gonna put this tan flat piece here. This is hard to get in, okay. And then this longer tan flat piece. That was a little tricky, but I got it to go in. I didn't force it. It went in with ease, but it was just a little temperamental. It's a hard place to put a brick. Oops, I almost missed, missed it. Placed a minifig head. I just fell off the table. And you know, one of the worst pains imaginable is stepping on Legos. Barefoot. If you have shoes on, it won't bug you. Alright, now I've completed step 29 here. So now I'm going to go on to the final steps in this build. Yay! So now I have to complete the rainbow. So I think, yes, okay, I'll start with this. So here's what I'm doing. Then this goes over that, like so. And then we just follow the color pattern like we have been. So next would be the brown. And because of the size of the bricks, it's two of these instead of one. Now if they would have just made it into one piece, it would have been a little bit easier, but this is what they made, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay. Make sure you tamp your pieces down so you don't get gaps. And now we're gonna go to the red one. If you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate your support. Um, as I said, this is a little hard for me because of my disabilities, but I'm doing it. It may take me longer than someone who does not have disabilities to do this, but at least I'm trying. And that's all that matters, honestly. So now I'm going on to the orange. But not a work that way. And now we have to go to the yellow ones, which is right here. As I said, like when you get the number of pieces down, it gets much easier to build Lego. It's in the beginning where everything is out, which makes it more difficult looking than it really is. As long as you follow the instructions, it works out. Green. 
Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. I'm not used to filming myself like this. I'm just doing short little videos. This is probably the longest video I've done yet. And yeah, even longer than when I DJ. So now we're going into the dark blue. Oops. Alignment issue there. There it goes. It wasn't on their part, it was on my part. It just didn't set the brick correctly. Or, I guess this is still considered brick. And I said, Lego people, if I get anything wrong, just tell me in the, in the comments. And as I said, I will link, link, sorry, the set in the description box. So if you want to buy this, got the wrong piece. Purple is next. Here's the other purple. now I've got the powdered blue, so we're back to the trans flag again. So we're completing the trans flag right now. White. For a second I thought I was missing a pink piece, but I got it. So we're finishing the wall. Rainbow wall. The pride flag wall is complete. Look at that. It's interesting how that went together. I do like what they did. But as I said, I would have preferred them not to have the tan pieces in there and just have it like solid uh, six studded bricks. But this works too. I lied, we're not completely done the wall. We still have to do this back strip here on the wall. See where the studs are. Uh, when this is complete, you won't see those studs. So here we go. We use these tiles like we used on the flat part of the model where the minifigures stand. So it's black. Oh, thank you. I must have lost the head. My helper helped me. Yay. And now we get the red. And we have to go to orange. And now we have to go to the yellow. Oops. My helper missed one of the heads. I keep bumping this table and it things keep falling off. And it doesn't help that the heads are will round and roll very easily. So I need green, which is right here. I need blue, which is right here. Purple. Finishing the trans flag right now. Yay. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. Happy Pride. This white piece. And now I just need to find the purple piece. And the fried flag, rainbow, whatever you want to call it, wall is done. I did it. And now I think I just have to put together mini faces, so, and place them on the display. Oh, it doesn't even give me steps for this, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, they're monochrome, so they should be very easy to put together. Um, so, uh, let's move this aside for a second, and I'll bring it back when I'm done with the minifigures. So let's build them in order of the colors. So we're gonna do the black one first. The body. Put that together. Did I do it in the right direction? I didn't put the butt in the front, did I? Good. So that would look awkward. 
need the black head and the the hairstyles on this set are really cool like this one it's really cool i'll show you them in more detail when i'm done and then the minifigure head has to go. oh i'm putting it on backwards so bear with for a second here i have to figure out how these it's been so long since i've done lego that i don't quite know how the hair pieces go on to the stud it should put oh no that's it Okay, I think I'm putting it on backwards. Let me just put them together and then I'll put the hair pieces on. Let me see if I can do it. <clears throat> I'm gonna build the brown one now. Okay. I'm gonna put his head on or her head. And then the hair. He was able to get her, his or her hair piece on. And see, this is this one. Uh, so next would be red. Where's red's body? Okay. And there's the legs. Together, red. Red's head. <laughs> that rhymed. So I have to get joy out of things. This is a really cool hairstyle. I think this is one of my favorite hairstyles in the whole set. It kind of has like these spikes on it. Very like, I don't know, like anime, like maybe even 80s kind of looking hair. Sorry. It's gonna make it a little hard to get the hair on. But I think it's just because this is new. Let's see if I set him down. I'm not putting it on backwards. I know that much. Oh, we got it. It was just a, a weird fit. Alright, so we got... So far we have black brown and red. Now we're moving on to orange. Oops. I put the, the butt in the wrong place. Take that apart. There we go. Now the butt's the right way. I need the head. This set didn't take me too long to build. Although I've been explaining. If I wasn't explaining, I think it would take less time to build this than it did for me. This, this one with the pony too. All right, um, yellow. I almost put it back. Again, but did not. Yellow head, which is the traditional color of Lego figures, is yellow. It seems like the heads were always yellow before they started putting like bases and stuff like that on. And this is the one with the bowl cut. If you know who the Beatles are, you'll know what a bowl cut is. Also, apparently, this was a very popular hairstyle during quarantine for COVID. Where people getting their hairs cut at home, just stick a salad ball in your head and just cut the bangs. It is not a very good look. I believe it's not a good look, but to each their own. So now we have the green figure that's going together. This will probably be the last half of this video. So if you've enjoyed my build of the Everyone is Awesome set, I'm happy. If you didn't, well, then why did you watch it? You watch because you like it. You just don't want to admit it. And this kind of this hair is gonna go on to the green one. I like this hair. It's a cool build to the hair. It kind of reminds me of like poison ivy or something from Batman. Ooh, new. You must have not been fall over. 
so purple will be next. Yuck. Sometimes Legos are a little tough to get in there, but once you get them in there, it's good. And it doesn't matter which way you put these heads on because they are monochrome. There's no faces on them, so you don't have to worry about it. And this hairdo, get on here, yes. It's got this cool old hairdo. I think this is called a bouffant, or is it a beehive? A beehive. Yeah, beehive. Well, this isn't hairstyles with Daniel. This is putting together Lego with Daniel, so let's go on. Um, now we've made it into the trans flag, so we are going to do the powder blue person. And I need the head for the hair. It's powder blue. And here's the hair. It's just a, you know, it's like a crew cut kind of style. Nothing special for that hairstyle. Um, the white is next. Which I'm not sure how this is going to show up on the camera because this is a very bright kind of white. So it may not show up very well. And then I'll put the hair on here. Oops. I had it and then it then it, then it jiggled at the wrong time. Okay, and one head. Give me that head. Go in the hole. Okay. And we'll get this. Hopefully before my time runs out in this video. Okay. Head. There it is. I just wasn't fitting it correctly. So there's the white one, kind of got bangs, and the long hair on the back. Almost, a, it's kind of got a mullet thingy going on back here. <gasps> no, they go people feel that. Sorry about that. I'm a little clumsy. And now we are finishing off with the last two figures. Oh, I missed the figure in the uh, in the rainbow part of the flag. Oh, okay, that's fine. Dark blue. Here we go. Should have done him before I did the white and powder blue one. Or her. Actually, I'm not even sure. Because they're monochrome. The beautiful thing about this set is that you can assign, assign any gender you want to these characters. They are completely blank featured. Okay, this is the one I, I was like, I didn't see this yet. This is the one with the Conan O'Brien hairstyle. If you know who Conan O'Brien is, he's a late night talk show host. Very famous, very tall, redhead guy. So if they were going to use this hairstyle, I swear, why didn't they just put it on the orange? It makes more sense. <laughs> All right, now here's the last figure. Um, this will be the purple one in the purple. Pink. It's pink. Sorry. I have a migraine, so I've already done the purple. And I put the legs on backwards. Oh. Damn, no, this isn't space balls. Put them together correctly. And it's stuck? Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now it's correct. Put the head on. And this. <clears throat> and that's the last figure. And I'm going to put them on the wall. And then I will display them in front of you. So first we have, last part, putting the figures on the model. 
So black goes first, then brown. Make sure the legs are straight. Oh, that's not straight. I think they're supposed to go like this. I'm not saying. Okay. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna turn it and show you. Got it. Then red. Let's put his arm down like this. Or does it have to go down? Yeah, it has to go down. Okay. Now orange. Yellow is next. It's a bowl cut person. Then green. Then blue. I've noticed with this you have to kind of raise the arms in order to get them to fit properly. There we go. Then purple. You also have to keep the legs straight. So what I'll say about this set is the figures are not very poseable. You only have like one pose so that you can put them in with a fit, but that's okay. I mean, this is meant for display. It's not a, a, a set where you would really like play on it with the figures. So as a display, it works fine. I'm still happy with what I got. Now the last two figures, and when I'm done, I will show you what I've done. As I said, I hope you've enjoyed my build of the Everyone is Awesome Lego set. And if you made it to this point, congratulations. <laughs> As I'm a little tired after doing this set. Sorry, a little schmutz on there. Give me that schmutz all. And then the last figure. Ah! Was the last figure that I knocked over two of them. That's okay. The position of the figures didn't change, so it's fine. I just gotta put them back on the studs. figure's just hard to seat on the studs properly. And providing I didn't make any mistakes. Now I present to you everyone. It's awesome! Um, it was a fun build. Am I ever going to take this apart? No. Why? Because I don't want to put it back together again. <laughs> Although, I think I could. So, I hope you enjoyed my building of the Everyone is Awesome set. Happy Pride. Uh, be kind to each other. 
拜拜。Hey, I decided to show you where I set up my Everyone is Awesome set. Right here, in front of the TV.